Hi, Miss Tinsman and Miss Finney's friends. Today we're going to read a book, but this book isn't about planting vegetables or growing a garden. This book is about a little boy who is learning how to tie his shoe. The title of our book is called, What Will I Do If I Can't Tie My Shoe? So this book is going to be all about the boy learning how to tie his shoe, and he is going to have some very strong feelings. While we read, I want my friends to think about the strong feelings that the little boy might be having. The author of our book who writes the words is Heidi Kilgrass, and the illustrator who makes the pictures is Dana Reagan. So let's get ready to read What Will I Do If I Can't Tie My Shoe? What Will I Do If I Can't Tie My Shoe? by he Heidi Kilgrass and illustrated by Dana Reagan. What will I do if I can't tie my shoe? My lace has come loose. My shoe is untied. Uh-oh, it looks like the little boy has a problem. What do you think his problem is in the story? I can't tie my lace. I've tried and I've tried. What's that feeling that we might get? It's a strong feeling when you keep on trying to do something and you just can't do it. Do you feel excited when that happens? No. The strong feeling we have when we can't do something is frustrated. Right now the boy is feeling frustrated because he can't tie his shoes and he's having a lot of trouble. Buckles are easy. Zippers are too. I can button my buttons, but I can't tie my shoe. So the boy is feeling frustrated and he has a problem. Can you turn and tell your family members something that the boy can do to help solve his problem? I can slip on my slippers faster than fast. My sneakers with Velcro go on in a flash. But here I am, stuck with my shoelace untied. I can't run, I can't jump, and I can't go outside. So we know this boy is feeling frustrated, but how do we know he's feeling frustrated? We can look at his body to help us know how he's feeling. So look at the picture now and look at how the boy is moving his body. The boy has his head in his hands, his head is down, he's sitting down on the stairs instead of trying to tie his shoes and he's thinking about going to go play outside, but can he? No, his shoelace is untied and that's not safe to go play with a shoelace untied. I wonder how the boy is going to solve his problem. If my lace is undone, I can't play, it's no fun. Hey, big brother, will you show me how it's done? So when we're having strong feelings and we don't know what to do, one of the ways we can solve our problem is by asking for help. Who did the boy ask for help? That's right, he asked his big brother for help to tie his shoe. Before we keep reading, if my friends want to try to practice your shoes, find a shoe that has laces that are untied, and then we can use the illustrations to help us practice tying our shoes. First, cross both ends. Slip one over, under, and through. Now pull them tight, then here's what you do. Next, make a bunny ear, and then make another. Wrap one around, pull it through. You try, little brother. I try and I try. I think I can do it. So now the little boy is trying really hard, but he's not giving up. He might feel a little frustrated, but he tells himself that he can do it. If you're practicing at home, it might take some tries to tie your shoe, but that's okay. If you start to feel frustrated, you can think of the different ways to help your body be calm, like taking a big belly breath and smelling the cookies and blowing out the candles. Look, it's a bow. There was nothing to it. I did it. I did it. I tied my own shoe. Add this to the list of the things I can do. 
So before the boy was feeling sad and frustrated, but now look at the illustrations. How is the boy feeling? Now I'm practically flying. I can race, twirl, and skip. With my shoelaces tied, I probably won't trip. Oops! Even if our shoelaces are tied or our shoes are velcroed and on our feet tight, sometimes we still trip on accident, but that's okay. We just have to remember to try to be careful so that we don't trip and fall and get a bad boo-boo. The end. So today we read a book all about a boy that was learning how to tie his shoes and sometimes that can be very tricky so it might be frustrating too. So that would be a strong feeling we have when we get frustrated and we can't do something that we keep trying to do. But that's okay because that means we just need to have a calm body and we might need to take a break before we try again. If my friends want, you can practice tying your shoes to get ready for kindergarten and you might feel frustrated, but I know all of my friends can have calm bodies and keep on trying and working hard. So thank you for reading with me today, my friends. Bye!